Hello and welcome back to Mark's Garden UK near Nantwich in Cheshire. I'm going to talk to you about bamboos today because I'm going to create a bamboo hedge. I'm also going to talk to you about this bamboo barrier which I've just bought from Todd's Botanicals. Now I've just bought eight of these bamboo plants and I got them for a bargain price. They were originally £24 and I bought them for £5 each. And I would say that that's definitely a bit of a tip at this time of year because a lot of garden centres and plant outlets are selling off this summer's stock so you can look out for some bargains. So I'm going to be burying these or planting them in the ground in a line along here. This bamboo barrier is going to be submerged because bamboo is quite invasive and this stops it from putting runners out to the side. But because it's going to envelop the whole of the hedge, it will also allow the hedge to merge together as one. I recently planted two golden bamboos in pots down here. I'm going to dig them up and include them in this scheme. So we'll have one seamless hedge going along. This hedge will then divide my social eating area from my Mediterranean scented border at the back. And in between the hedge and the scented border, eventually I'm going to build a contemporary black fence which will really set off this lovely green bamboo but the contemporary fence is for another video now the first thing i need to do is dig a long trench here which will eventually house these bamboos with this around them so come back in a minute and i'll get these planted in So there we go, the bamboo barrier is in place. I'm just going to share with you a few things I learnt whilst I was doing that. The first thing is dig the trench slightly short of the barrier because you do want it to be above the surface because if it's below the surface obviously the bamboo runners could creep over the top of it. I tried to make the sides of the trench vertical so that the bamboo barrier was also vertical. That gives it a bigger root run and makes it easier to put in. I've overlapped it because I used two pieces by a foot and actually that foot has diminished to about 10 inches as I put the soil back in as it expanded out so do leave a little bit of extra. Now I found a drain pipe and that's a big warning really if I'd gone at this with a mini digger I'd have gone through that drain pipe so do be careful of drains, electric cables and water pipes and when I started refilling the trench I used a bit of soil at the bottom to kind of secure it in place with my foot and also this plastic sheeting which is the bamboo barrier heats up in the sun and becomes more flexible which is a good thing in some ways but actually if it's too flexible it's less easy to control so you don't want it to be too hot please excuse Simba barking in the background now where the drain pipe is down here there's a space and I've put the bamboo barrier around completely encapsulating this space because of course if there's any breaches the bamboo is going to escape so I've not got I've now got two areas this long one here and the bamboo that goes in the end there is going to have its own little detached residence and the pipe will go between the two sets of bamboo barrier the next thing I've got to do is get the bamboos out of their pots 
and buried into this soil. But before I do that, I'm going to space them out and make sure I've got them evenly spaced. I'll see you in a minute. So there you go, I've placed the bamboos in their position. All that remains for me to do now is take them out of the pots and backfill with all the soil that I took out of the trench. Now I don't have a commercial relationship with Todd, which is why I haven't pressed the paid promotions box on this video. But I have to say the service I got from them was excellent. And there's a link to this product in the description box below this video. And if you buy one through that link, I will receive a commission, full disclosure. Another thing that was extremely useful was my long handled Irish spade. And of course, you can get that through Amazon as well. And I'll put the link to that in the description box below this video too. Same rules apply. If you buy one through that link, I will receive a commission and your support is greatly appreciated. Hope you've enjoyed that and found it informative. You'll see me planting the rest of these and fast forward when I've finished speaking. If you have, please do hit the like button. And if you haven't already done so, of course, subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to comment below because it's always great to hear from you. What's your experience of bamboo barrier or indeed bamboos? And I'll see you soon.